Hey, you're listening to Marketing Out Loud, a daily podcast where I share advice, stories, and insights to help you build a thriving consulting or professional services practice. To subscribe to the show, head over to marketingoutloud.fm. You are bigger than your service. This is a mantra I like to remind my clients of as much as possible. The tendency of experts and service providers is to get really caught up in the weeds of their expertise and their service offering and their solutions. And it's natural because, you know, it's it's human nature. We tend to fall in love with the things that we create and the processes that we use to get clients' results. And, And when we get into a conversation with clients or we do any kind of marketing, the temptation is to just jump into the weeds for a couple of reasons. First of all, we feel most comfortable in the weeds. Second of all, we kind of feel like we need to prove our expertise by jumping into the weeds and showing people that we are, in fact, experts, which sometimes makes sense. But the risk is that you're always in the weeds in a sales conversation and you're marketing. You're always in in the weeds and you're limiting your persona. You're limiting the the value, the perceived value that clients see in working with somebody like you. And you really create this perception that you're just a a pair of hands. You're an expert, sure, but you're a pair of hands that I can use when I have a really specific problem. And you're going to come in, you're going to use your hands and solve the problem. And then you're going to leave. And that's very limiting. That's very limiting. And that's why I tell my clients that your persona has to be bigger than your service. What do I mean by that? Well, take a look at somebody like Russell Brunson. Okay. Russell Brunson is the founder of a a really popular software company that that helps you create landing pages called, called ClickFunnels. That's his main product. That's what Russell Brunson sells. He has other offerings, sure. But his main offer is ClickFunnels. But Russell Brunson's persona is not limited by ClickFunnels. Russell Brunson's persona is much bigger than ClickFunnels. He's this online marketing, internet marketing, entrepreneurship guru. And he happens to sell ClickFunnels, among other things. But his persona attracts a certain kind of person. And then when they're engaged with his persona and the ideas that he shares, then he sells click funnels as a way to take a next step, as a way to go down the path that he is articulating and promoting to people. Take a look at somebody like Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs' persona was not limited by Apple. Steve Jobs had certain values and ideals and principles that he represented. And he represented those ideals and values and principles at Apple and at Pixar and wherever he went. But the thing that he sold for a good chunk of his career was Apple products. So Apple is an offer, it's a service, it's a product, but Steve Jobs is bigger than that. And you can apply that to anybody. Think about Bill Gates, think about Warren Buffett, think about Gary Vaynerchuk, think about Grant Cardone, think about all these personalities. And what you'll find is that their persona is much bigger than their service. So that's something I want you to think about uh, because chances are your identity is, is, is intertwined with your service right now. If you're a financial planner, then your identity is, that, is, is tied to that, that idea of helping clients with their financial needs, with their financial planning. If you're an accountant, chances are your identity is tied to the actual accounting and the delivery of that service. If you're a lawyer, same thing. And the to the extent that you re- constrain your identity to that service or that offer, you're going to be limited in what you can do. And you're going to be limited in the types of people that you attract. You're only going to attract people that want that specific thing. And if they don't want that sp- specific thing, they're not going to be attracted to your message. But if your persona is bigger than that, you're going to attract all kinds of people who maybe also need your service or maybe also need your help in some other area. And that persona becomes an asset that you can carry with you throughout your career, regardless of what you sell. 
Hey, thanks for listening. Do me a favor. If you like what you hear, go on iTunes and leave us a rating and a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much. 